to make sure we got viewers coming on. Be on the right wing, Cliff. Yeah, we have one. That's why I'm waiting. There we go. It's taking a second here, but our viewers are coming on. Let me give it a few more seconds before I start talking here. All right, you guys, so it seems like people are just coming on. Um, welcome back. This is our third video, and today's workout is gonna be a chair and towel workout. Um, so um, if you are doing the workout on hardwood floors, I would highly recommend you guys use towels. If you guys are doing this outside, or if you're doing it um, maybe on concrete or anything like that, um, uh, paper plates work great for this. Um, so just go ahead and choose what you want. You could still have a towel around even if you are using paper plates because some of the movements will be with the arms. So that way you guys could jump back and forth. Um, you will also need a mat for today if you have one. Um, and as you guys can kind of see, I'm gonna give you a quick demo of all of this. I have my two towels here. Um, they're about medium sized towels. I could open them up a little bit. Um, so you could, when you extend them out, they're about that long. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, we'll make it work. And if you're not going to use towels for the gliding portion of it, um, then you guys can use paper plates such as these, um, where you can place your palms on them and you can put your feet on them and then use them as gliders. So um, I'm going to give everybody a little bit extra time today since there is a small setup phase with it. Um, as far as the chair goes, any chair should work. Um, usually they're better when they don't have handles off to the side of the chair. Um, but we will be switching from the chair to the towels and down to our mat um, pretty often. So kind of get ready for that. Um, you can still see people are still joining on. So if you have not seen my post and you have not heard it, you need, a uh, you need two towels, you need a mat, you need a chair. And I'm going to give everybody another maybe minute or so before we get going. Um, that way, no one's kind of surprised into what we have out today. Um, and I, what I'm going to try to do best is I'm going to try to always remind you guys what we need uh, through our Instagram or at the end of our videos for the following day so that you guys can kind of prep yourselves and be ready for that. So we'll give it another 30 seconds or so and we'll slowly get started. For those of you guys that are prepping it, you can kind of uh, fold your towel twice to get about the size that large. Um, and the other one as well. Just have them off to the sides here and we are gonna get going here. This is my other towel I'll use for my sweats. We'll be okay. All right, you guys. So we're gonna get going. Um, thank you guys again for all the uh, feedback that you guys have been giving us. Um, it's awesome and I love seeing it, so keep it going. I love your guys' posts and thank you for challenging each other. Um, just keep that rolling and um, let's get a good one today. Here we go. Um, so for those of you that were here the last two days, you might be a little bit sore, but make sure to work through that soreness, kind of really move around, move your body, um, especially during this warm-up um, portion of it, and you'll be all right to go. Here we go. Let's jog it out. And today, with, the, with that jog, go ahead and circle out those arms. Our emphasis today for today's class is going to be a total body strength. Okay, so there won't be as much cardio like yesterday. There'll be a lot more focused on your strength. There'll still be a lot of core elements to it, 
Um, so just get ready to switch back and forth, but it'll include upper body and lower body as we go through the movements. Take those arms, bring them across your body here. Switching the arm that's on top every single time. And maybe circle out those shoulders, roll them out, tuck those elbows in as they hit your sides. And work them back. There you go. Try not to shake your butt too much when you're doing this one. Keep going. And right into our squats. Hip distance apart, weights on your heels, shift those shoulders back. Tap those thighs, lift all the way up to the top here. Here we go. Reach up to that sky, maybe add the tiptoes, engaging those calves to do some work. Squeeze your glutes. When you guys are squatting, make sure that your heels are staying all the way down on the floor. You can even lift your toes off the floor when you're at the bottom here. Wiggle those toes and then lift all the way up. That way you know you really have glute activation going on. Circling out those arms a couple more times here. And shake it out. Let's take a nice big lunge back behind us. Bring your arms out to your sides. Get right here and hold them. And then just take it down 10 times. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, I'm really pressing down into my heel, on my front heel, and let's go ahead and switch that. Large lunge, challenge your stride length, challenge your balance here, take it away, go, go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Shake that out. I want you guys to lift up into that IT band. So you're lifting your ankle, supporting your ankle and your shoe as you guys lift up, opening up those outer glutes. Like I said, our warm-up phase is usually about the same. You just want to get your blood pumping, get your major muscles nice and warm, ready to go. We've got a good one today. Take about four more. And right into some jacks. Here we go. Your cardio is mainly this in the beginning. Just to get your blood flowing. We're going to go 20 more here. Take it away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And slowly go ahead and take a seat here. I want you guys to press into your mat. Take about 20 bridges. Here we go. On my cap. One, two. Press that floor with your arms. Three, four. Once again, we're using our heels to drive it up to the sky. Here's seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's go ahead and flip it over on our mats. Once again, opening up our arms out to our sides, thumbs pointing upward. Keep your feet on the floor, keep them grounded, and I just want you guys to lift and lower. Lift, lower. Take it away. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now pulse it out. Ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring yourself up. Bring yourself into this cat camel position. All fours. Palms are right underneath your shoulders. Knees are right under your hips. I want you guys to press into that floor, round your back, look all the way up, and then reverse round like a cat, exhale, 
tucking that chin in. And again, here we go. Look all the way up. Exhale, reverse round. And three more. Deep breath. Exhale, reverse round. Expand that chest as you guys come up. And take it back. Last one. Now go ahead and just sit back on those heels, lengthening that back, and then push yourself back here. So bring, my, bring your two big toes together. Your knees should be as wide as your mat. You're sitting back in that child's pose, and then just pulling yourself back. We're going to take 10 of these, and then we'll be ready to go. Five more here. Really bring that forehead down to the mat. Lengthen those arms. Sit all the way back. Two more, you guys. Last one. All right. Looks like we're ready to go. All right, so um, if you are using towels, then just remember that we will be um, switching from our feet to our palms on this one, and then if you are going to be using plates, just use the same thing, just go ahead and just substitute those plates, um, and you should be good to go here. All right, so uh, first one we're going to start with, we're actually going to turn, I'm going to turn the mat to give you guys a nice little side profile here. So I want your feet on those towels together. All right, we're going to bring it down into this plank right here, support yourself. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to lift up into that mountain climber and push right back. So it's going to start slow. Go ahead and take the weight when you're ready. You could be using your plates too. That works just fine. But really engage that core. Bring it all the way up when it comes all the way into your chest. And then lengthen out as you guys push back. Breathe as you work. Remind yourself you got to keep breathing. The foot goes right back to where it started. We got 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Go ahead and stand up. You're only going to need one uh, towel for this one, so go ahead and get rid of that other towel. And place your hands on your hips here. I'll give you guys a side profile as I work through it. I'm going to send my legs straight back. All right, pressing into that towel and then reverse it back here. So push it straight back and right back into it. All right, guys, here we go. In three, two, one, 20 times. Send it back and pull. Press into that towel, press into your front heel as you guys are working. Here's four, five, six, stay on the toes on the back leg, seven, eight, Nine, ten, keep it going. Ten, nine, larger strides. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's keep it on the same leg. I'm just gonna face you guys here, all right? Stay on those toes, stay nice and low. Now we're going to go out, feeling it in those inner thighs, inner hamstrings, and then pulling it straight back. So you want to really push into that leg. Notice I'm staying low in my squat, and then I'm working out of that. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four. Engage that core. Five, six, seven. Stay low in this leg. Eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, breathe, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and turn into the opposite leg here. So I got my left leg on at this time, my right leg's in front. I'm going to send it back straight behind me, and we're going to work out of that. Here we go, hands on your hips in three. If you lose your towel, that's okay, it's common. All right, just get your, re replace your foot right back on and take it right back into it. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten. Push into that top. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. You can stand up after each one. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, here we go. We're taking it to the side. Big extension. Three, two, one. And take it away. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See if you can smile while you do it. Two, three, four, five. Stay lower. Six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Well done. Shake out those legs. Bring it right back down into your mountain climbers. Here we go. You need both your towels. Or both of your plates. Set those palms right. This time we're gonna go a little bit quicker. Alright? We're gonna go a little bit quicker, so I want you guys to make sure when you are going quicker, you're not dipping your hips down like this. Watch this. We don't want that. Alright? So just little shuffles. You wanna feel the burn all the way through those hip flexors and quad region right Alright, here we go. In three, we're going to dip. Two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Hold that. Hold it there. Stay here in that plank. You're gonna open your feet. Close your feet. Not too wide. You don't want to hurt the groin. So here. And back. Here and back. Ten of them. Here's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. If you need a break, please remind yourself that everybody's going at their own pace here. So take those breaks, hydrate in between, small sips, and just jump right back into it when you're ready. All right, so next one. We're gonna take our chair, and I'm gonna turn my mat again, so I can give you guys a side call call this one. I like to put my chair on my mat, that way it has good grip, and just in case I push away, the chair is not going. So it gives you a little bit more grip on the floor. So utilize that if you can. And what we're going to do is we're going to go right into some tricep dips. So with these tricep dips, you can hold on to the outside of your chair if you're comfortable, or the front end of it. All right, whichever works best for you. Now modifications. It's always easier when your legs are closer to your body. It's more challenging if they're extended or off the floor. So I would go. This is easiest. This is step two, or level two. Level three, I want you guys to lift, all right? So you can lift one leg, flex it. We will have multiple sets of this, so you will be able to switch, all right? So we're gonna dip down here, tricep dip, and push up. One thing to keep in mind is don't get your body far from it, as that creates kind of impingement in the shoulder. So stay nice and close with your bottom to the end of the chair, and that way you guys are safe, all right? As soon as you burn out, don't fall down to the floor. You have your chair, so if you're working and you're burned out, just take a seat right on that chair. Shake it out, and then right back into it. Here we go, we're gonna go 20 of them. In three, two, one, take it away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, three, seven, Six, push all the way up, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a seat on that chair. Shake out those arms. So if you have your leg extended or floating, go ahead and do the opposite one, all right? Your choice. Here we go. You want to knock it down one step, then just bring it back to the folded legs. I'm going to do the second version on this one. Here we go. Three, 
two, one, legs extended, and take the weight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now speed it up. Ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a seat, shake out those triceps. I'm sure they're nice and tight, nice and sore. I want you guys to flip it over on your mat, on your chair, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to place a little towel here so I don't sweat into my chair too much, but you're going to hold into that plank, and I got my little timer on, so I'll let you guys know we're going to go for a minute 30 on this one. Minute 30, all right? If anybody needs a modification, please take it down to the floor where you can just hold a modified plank here, all right? Here is fine for me as long as your hips are shifted forward. Minute 30, let's cook, let's work. Three, two, one, take it away. Here we go, guys. Keep your belly nice and tight. Concentrate on your breathing. Keep your kneecaps, keep your knees nice and straight, nice and tight. Recruit everything to the center of your body. That's why they call it the core. Hold it there. Press into those forearms. Concentrate on your breathing. You guys can do it. Hang in there. You have 45 seconds left. Halfway there. If you're shaking, that's normal. That's okay. You want to push yourself. But you don't want to hurt yourself. So if you feel any lower back pain coming in, just go ahead and take a little breather and jump right back into it when you're ready. Lock it in, you guys can do this. Here we go. Only 20 seconds left. Stay with me. Come on, you guys. 10 seconds. Just breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one, and shake it up. All right, so you're gonna grab your towel. After this one, I'll give you guys a little water break. I'm gonna move my chair back to this one. Take a seat, right on your mat. I'm gonna extend, maybe fold my towel once, the long way here, and I'm gonna hold on to it, I'm gonna squeeze, I'm gonna engage my core, engage my upper back, Okay, if, my, if your lower back is not hurting, I want you guys to lift your feet. So you're going to cross your feet and you're going to lift. And then I want you guys to rush and twist with the tap. Okay, keeping that tension, that tightness on that top. If your lower back is hurting, place those feet on the floor. We're going to go two rounds of 30 seconds on this twist. In three, two, one, take it away. Here we go. Tap. I'm getting my, the end of my towel all the way down to the floor. Keeping my chest nice and tall, keeping my, my body extended, and breathe. Take note of which foot is crossed over the other one so that you guys can switch on the next one. Here we go. Notice I'm not bending my arms, I'm keeping them fully engaged, fully extended. Breathe. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Again, if that's too much on your lower back, Keep those feet on the floor and just continue that movement here, all right? Opposite leg. So if you have your left over right, go ahead and switch. In three, two, one, 30 seconds. Here we go, you guys. Come on. Breathe. Attack and attack. Again, concentrate on your breathing. Concentrate on keeping that towel nice and tight. Fight through. Don't give in. Come on. You guys can do it. We have 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Shake it out, take a little water break, and then I want you guys to meet me in child's pose. So we're going to take a little in-between stretch to really open up that lower back. And then jump right back into it. It's only about 30 seconds here. Big toes come together. Knees are nice and wide. We did this in the beginning here. 
So go ahead and just meet me right here. Really press those fingers, lengthen them out, extending your back, bring your chin down towards your chest and your forehead down towards the mat. Notice I'm really sitting back on my heels, and that should feel nice on your lower back. If for any reason this hurts your knees, then just bring it up, bring it up to here, all, all fours, and then you have your cat cow option. You can always do this one. I highly recommend it. Taking a nice deep breath, and then reverse rounding back into your chest. All right, we're gonna go right back into our workout here. So I'm gonna move my mat here, this direction, we're going to come back to that towel. You need a single towel on this one on your leg. And the opposite towel, I want you guys to hold here out in front of you. So we're going back to our lunge. And I'll give you guys a side profile in a second here. But we're going to go back with the twist. All right? So you're sending your right leg back, or in your guys' case, your left leg, if you're kind of mirroring me on the, on the TV or on your computers. Um, but you're going to send it back. And then you're going to twist over the knee. Pull it right back. So the towels work together. They go together, they come back together. I'm really pushing down into that floor. Here we go. We're going to go this, this direction first to start with. 15 times. In three, two, one. Send it back with a twist and retract. Twist, pull it back. Keep the tension on the top. Here's three, four. Five, six, seven. Twist into those side bars. Here's nine. Watch that front knee. Ten. Ten more. Five, five more. Five. Four. Breathe. Three. Two. And one. Nice. Switch that leg. Here we go. So this time, I'm shooting my left leg back, pulling over my right as I go into it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Send it back. Twist. Engage. Notice I keep my towel chin low, chin high. I don't let my arms drop too low. Three, four, five. Make sure to breathe. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, five more, you guys. Five, engage, pull that top. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, shake out your shoulders. If you're pulling on that towel nice and tight, your shoulders should be pretty exhausted. You should really feel it in those arms. Roll them back about ten times here. Give me your best. Suave Mente impression. All right. Here we go. So we're going to hold on to that towel out in front and we're going to crank it. Okay? Pretend like you're, you're turning something, but you have the tension in the towel. We're going to go for 30 seconds. Try not to let that towel drop below your chin. Up. All right? So keep it nice and hot and just work. Work, work. Three. Two, one, take it away. Moving forward, you're cranking forward towards the camera. Good, come on. Work, 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 turn, turn. Remember, don't let it drop. Keep the tension, work it out. Burn, burn, burn. Let's go, guys, 15 seconds. Engage your core. I'm trying to stay nice and low with my legs. Crank, we're right there, right around the corner. Fight it out, five, four, three, Two, one, and rest. Now, take a big step back with your right leg. Pull it over to your right side here and go across your body. So we're gonna open up that side body, we're gonna open up that hip complex and just chop across our bodies. I still have that tension in my towel. Here we go, 10 times. Ready, and go. One, breathe, two, breathe, three, four, five, like you're putting something on the top shelf. Here's seven, eight, nine, 
and in 10. Switch right away. In 3, 2, 1, and go. 1. Notice I'm not bending my arms. 2, 3. Body straight. 4, 5, 6, 7. Watch your front knee. 8, 9, and 10. One more round. Switch it again. Here we go. 3, 2, 1, and go. 1, 3, 2. Stay low with your legs. 3, come on. 4, 5, 6, 7. Pull that towel. 8, 9, and 10. Your arms should be burning by now. Legs 2. Here we go. 3, 2, 1, and go. 1, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Bring it back to your chair here. All right, I'm going to place my chair right back on here. Okay, this time I'm going to go into my plank and I want to bring my knee to the outside of my chair. All right, don't bang your knee on the end of your chair, but slowly bring it up, try to tap, and then pull it right back. In other words, it's going right at my tricep muscle. My knee goes above my elbow to my tricep and then right back. All right, we're going to go 20 of these. In three. Um, sorry, anybody else that needs a modification, you're welcome to stand up here and then go here and here. Here and here. Okay, I'm lifting my knee to my elbow and my elbow to my knee as I, as I go right back into it. So that's your modification. Please use it if you need. Here we go. In three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more, you guys. Ten, nine, eight. Keep that body straight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go. We got one more. Don't celebrate just yet. Here we go. In three, two, one. Take it away, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. All right. Now, turn that chair, all right? I'm going to keep my chair on the mat, and I'm going to give you guys a side profile of this one. It's going to be a single leg RDL, okay? And what we're going to do here, as I fold this towel and I get it out of the way, what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure our inside leg, the leg that's closest to the chair, is going to be swinging. So I'm going to swing that leg. Now, meanwhile, my outside leg, the one closer to you guys, is going to be on the floor. It's going to be soft. I'm going to engage here through my uh, glutes. And I'm going to reach down while looking up. Okay, so I'm trying to look up as I reach down. And then I'm going to drive my knee up. Okay, kind of like a skip. So my inside knee is going to come up with my arm and then right back down. I'm trying to lengthen as high up as I can go, all right, without reverse rounding my back. Okay, I'm not overly rounding here. And I'm really lifting up into that hip flexor, extending out as far as I can. Try not to open your hip up as you guys take it back. Okay, so just really make sure someone's placing a brick on your back and you guys are just taking it down. Tap that floor and then lift up here. Anybody that wants to take it to the next level, add a little hop. All right, here we go. 20 times. Three, two, one, and go. One, three, two, three, four, reach. Five, remember I'm softening my knee. Six, seven, I'm looking up. Eight, keeping my back nice and straight. Nine, exhale all the way up. Ten, two, three, Three, work those hamstrings. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Just a reminder, if I'm going too fast for anybody, you guys are always welcome to slow it down, all right, and go at your own pace where you feel comfortable, all right? I'm going to flip my chair, take it to the opposite side here. Here we go. So, outside leg on the floor, inside leg swing, all right, here we go. Three, two, one, take it away. Reach and lift. Reach and lift. Three, four. Five, six, seven. Exhale on the way up. Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Breathe. Five. Come on, extend. Six, seven, eight, nine. And shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. All right, we're gonna come back one more time. We're gonna add a little element to this, all right? I want you guys to come up on your tiptoes towards the end. Now you should feel a lot more comfortable. If this is hurting your back, chances are, when you're going down, you're really using your back to take it down. If you guys notice, I'm engaging my glute, the, the leg that's on the outside, by softening my knee, and I'm really taking it down Okay, in a controlled manner. Yes, I'm going fast, but I'm really engaging, tightening my core and making sure everything is nice and tall, nice and long as I go through the movement. All right, here we go. 15 more times. We're going to go 15, not 20, but you're coming up on the tiptoe or jumping, or jumping. All right, so here we go. Three, two, one, and go. So lift up on those tiptoes and back. Add some calves in here. Two. Three, all the way up. Four, five, reach. Six, seven, up. Eight, lift. Nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one, and shake it out. Opposite side. Here we go. In three, two. One inside leg swing and take it away. Up on the tiptoes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, you guys. Nine lengthen and ten. Come on, five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, you guys. Take a little sip of water. Take a little sip of water. Hips up to the sky. So, kind of you want to place those feet at the edge of the chair, all right? And you're pushing downward into the chair. And what I want to concentrate on is maximizing the squeeze, basically the attachment between my glute muscles and my hamstring muscles, and really pinching or holding it at the top before I lower it down. Okay, so you can go up quick, but down nice and slow. 20 times, ready? In three, two, one, and go. One, breathe, two, breathe. Make it explosive going up and slowly bring it down. Here's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come on, guys. One, two, Three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. Good. And you might not want to have a towel up on your chair because it keeps sliding back and forth. So we're going to go one more time here. I'll get rid of this guy. Here we go. One more round. Uh, some of you guys might want to hold on to your mat. Kind of like you're on a carpet here and like a magic carpet. And then go ahead and just lift those hips again one more time, 20 times. Take it away. Two, three, three, four. Squeeze. Five. Come on, glutes. Six. Come on, hamstrings. Seven. Tighten those abs. Eight. Nine. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Hang in there. Eight. Here comes the crap. Nine. And twenty. Good. Hug those knees in towards your chest. And go ahead and bring yourself up. All right, so I'm going to move my chair here, get it out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my towels, all right, and I am going to lay them out right next to my sides here. So I'm going to fold my towel again two times, all right, and I'm going to place it right next to me, and then two times over here. Place this guy next to me. I got this guy correctly. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So, chair is out of the way. I'm going to lie down on the flat on my mat. All right. And I'm going to have my palms pressing down into those towels. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to swing our arms and lift up with our lower back. And then we're going to swing them back and pull them here. So, you actually start back here. All right, with your palms kind of diagonally facing outward, and as they swing forward, I'm going to lift my chest, press into those towels as I retract it back. So up, lift, and then lower it back. We'll go 15 times with this one. Here we go. In three, two, one, and go. Press into that towel. Here's four. Work that lower back. Five. Six. Seven. Come on, you guys. Press those palms. Eight. Keep your arms nice and straight. Nine. Ten. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, and rest. If you're next to your significant other, your mom or your dad, I'm sure they're really happy. It's a nice way to clean the floors while getting a workout in. Two birds with one stone. All right, we're gonna take it back one more time. All right, this time, this time when you guys come up to the front, I want you guys to stay up as you pull it back and then bring your body down. So it's here, we're gonna lift up, Hold, stay high, stay high, stay high, and then slowly bring it down. As your arms cross the sides of your body, you're going to decelerate and bring yourself back down to the floor. Try not to drop down, all right? Really control and engage as you work through it. Here we go. Only 10 of these. In three, two, one, and go. Lift, stay up, work those towels back, and slowly lower it down. One. Lift, stay up, slow, 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 and work it down. Two. Go. Three. Lift up. Slowly, slowly, slowly. And four. Here's five. It's important to work your lower back as it's still part of your core. All right? So a lot of people work on their abs and they forget to work on their lower back. And they realize that they have a lot of muscle imbalance as they go through their everyday activities. Here's now. Last one. Engage and slowly go right down. Excellent. Now, we're going to scoot to the front of our mat. Now, this one's going to be pretty challenging here. We're going to go into some push ups with our towels. 
And what we're going to do here is we're going to extend one arm out. All right. As we extend that one arm out, we're going to add a push up with the opposite arm. So this guy's out of here. I only need one. Uh, sorry, I need both my towels. All right. But here's how it looks. I'm going to keep it on my knees. All right. I highly recommend most of you guys stay on the knees here. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to extend the right arm, push up with the left arm, and then we're going to pull back. So you're pressing into that floor with the, with, the, with, the, with the towel that's sliding out, or if you're using a plate with the plate that's sliding out, and you're pressing down into that uh, push-up with your left arm. And then you alternate. So it's going to be one, pull it back, two, pull it back. We'll go ten times. Remember to keep your hips shifted forward. This is probably one of the most challenging ones. In three, two, one, and go. Full extension, and then back. Come on. Reach. Two, reach, three, all the way out, four, come on guys, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. How's that? Pretty challenging, right? So if you're doing your push-ups, okay, and your elbow is going out to your side, let me see if I can give you guys a kind of a different angle on this. If I'm doing my push-ups and my elbow is going directly to my side, again we dig into that shoulder joint, and we don't want that because that creates a lot of impingement. You, in a realistic, in the best case scenario, you want your elbow going diagonally back at a 45 degree angle. Let me see if I can kind of show you guys. If I did a normal push-up here, okay, I want you guys to watch my elbows here as they go backwards, okay, diagonally out to my sides, like kind of like airplane wings, right? Um, we don't want them to go directly out here where that creates that impingement. So we're gonna go one more round, really concentrate on keeping that elbow tucked and tight as you guys press into. Here we go, in three, we'll go this way. Two, one, and take it away. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. If you need a modification, just work on the push up by itself. You don't need to extend the arm all the way out. Come on. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good. Shake out those arms. Shake, shake, shake. How are we doing, you guys? Um, if you need a little break, take a little sip of water. All right, and I want everybody to meet me back in cat cow or cat camel. We're going to do that a total of five times. Sorry, 0.6. Five times. And, um, and then we're going to hold a plank. Here we go. So bring it back here. If this hurts your knees, you can always bug up your back, soften it out. Some of us have really bony knees. Um, and it does hurt to press into that floor, depending on what kind of a mat you have. So if you have one of those bigger mats, you're probably okay. But if not, feel free to always double up anytime you take it down to the floor. Alright, so take it away, deep breath, exhale, tuck that chin in, reach all the way up, expand that chest, exhale, tuck. Last one. Excellent. Now, I'm going to hold a plank on the chair. Some of you might want to join me in reversing that plank, okay, and placing my feet on the chair and putting my feet, uh, sorry, my hands on the floor. So it would kind of be inverted here, all right? So you would be holding that right here, or taking a step further, hold that. Now notice here, I'm not letting my hips do that. So you gotta really tighten, all right, and press on those forearms to hold yourself up. For the rest of us, you guys are welcome to hold your regular plank on your chair. We're gonna go a minute 30 again. Minute 30, here we go. In three, two, one, and take it away. Make sure you've got a nice placement with your feet and just lock it in. Hold that. This is a little bit more challenging as your head is below your heart. 
You might find yourself sweating a little extra on this one. And breathe. Again, you're concentrating on straightening out those knees. All right, don't allow them to bend. On this one, you gotta really make sure your hips are not dropping. You're keeping those abs nice and tight. All right, or tighten those obliques. Tighten that lower back. Squeeze the abs as much as you can. You're halfway there, you guys. Come on, hang in there. If you're shaking, that's okay. You have the version of push, pushing up and holding a regular plank. Your choice, 30 seconds left. Here we go. Hold it, lock it in. Don't let yourself give up. We're almost there, you guys. Come on. Fight, fight, fight. 15 seconds. You can do it. Now 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Don't drop yourself down. Slowly bring yourself down. And rest. Excellent. Nicely done, you guys. All right. Go ahead and take your chair. Back it out here. You know what? Go ahead and take that chair and bring it back. I fall. And then take one of your towels. Sit at the edge of your chair. All right. Nice and tall here. I want you guys to hold on to that towel out in front of you. I'm going to give you guys, yeah, you know what? We're going to stay here. All right. So I want you guys to lift the well. Keep the tension in the towel, all right? And see if you can lower it behind your shoulders, lift all the way up, then back down. So inhale up, exhale down behind your head. Inhale up, exhale down. Once again, go all the way up, inhale, exhale, inhale up, exhale down. Let's go two more here. And last one, keep the tension in the top. Reach, drop it down, lift it up, exhale down. Excellent, you guys, roll out your shoulders. It's kind of a workout in itself. Um, it's, kind of, it's, it's a stretch and a workout. You get two with one, um, as long as you're keeping the tension in the top. So same thing, lift all the way up. This time, I want you guys to keep your feet Basically as wide as your hips, or you can even line them up with the, the legs of your chair. And then I want you guys to fold high, pull it over to your left side, all right? And then feel that stretch all the way through your ribcage before you pull it back to center. Now the opposite way. Notice when I do this, I'm keeping my sit bones on the chair. So I'm not lifting up, right? I'm staying down, I'm staying grounded. And then I take it away and I pull it back. Take it away and retract right back. A couple more here. Take it to the side and bring it back. One more round. Take it to the side. Back here and go. Back here. Nicely done. Roll out those shoulders. All right, now, I'm going to use my chair for today's stretch. So what we're going to do is, I want you guys to use this for any balance reasons here. All right, but what we're going to do is I'm going to extend, all right, I'm going to extend all the way out using my hips to tip, tip, really tip out my waist. All right, if you need the chair, okay, go ahead and use it. It's there next to you. But what we're doing here is pull back on your quad. So I'm give you guys a side of the here. And then really hinge at those hips, opening up that quad muscle. Some of you might even feel comfortable to extend out here, right, and hold that. Expand, reach. If you lose your balance, you have your chair right next to you. Hold that for another 20 seconds here. We want to stay in that, in that hold. We want to stay in that stretch for a lot longer, especially because it's one of our major muscle groups here in our body. One of our larger muscles. By hinging at the waist, you get a little hamstring stretch in the other leg too. Another five seconds, four, three, two. All right, go ahead and switch your chair over to the opposite side here.
take that, take that opposite leg, extend it out here, hold it there. If you feel comfortable, take your arm off the chair and extend, open up, expand that rib cage, reach that leg higher, hold, hold, hold. Stay there. Another 15 seconds here. You can mess with the angles of the stretch. So what I like to do is I like to tip at the waist more. I like to lift my knee up a little bit higher in the back. Go through the entire muscle. And then slowly bring it back down when you're ready. Hold on to your chair here. I want you guys to angle it, pull yourself. So my toes are facing forward. I'm pulling myself to the right side here. Really feeling the stretch in my inner thighs here as I lean in, and I'm going to switch back over to the opposite side. I want you to have that chair in front of you so you can really press into it and dig into that stretch, taking some pressure off that knee by putting your weight in your heel, and then switching back and forth. And slowly bring it up. I'm gonna move my chair here. Take a nice deep breath. Reach all the way up. Come up on your tiptoes. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Bring it down to the floor. If you have any lower back issues here, widen those feet, soften your knees, okay? And then take it down. It's okay to micro bend the knees. Takes a lot of pressure off our lower backs. For my flexible, Yogi's there. You guys can place your palms on the floor here. All right. You can bend your knees, place your palms on the floor, and then see if you can extend those knees while keeping the palms on the floor. So fully extend. You might have a little bit of shakes in there, but that's okay. Hold it there. Another 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and shake that out. Shake, shake, shake. I want you guys to lift. You can use your chair here if you need it for any balance purposes. For those that want the harder version of this, you're going to cross your leg over. All right. I want you guys to sit down into the stretch. Notice I'm flexing my ankle, keeping my body nice and tall as I sit back on my heel. And then I'm going to tip out my waist to really feel that stretch in my outer glute region. So outside of my leg right here. The key is to keep your body tall first and then to the forward. And slowly bring it up. Go ahead and switch. I'm going to move my chair over to this side. Cross my other leg over. Take it down. Flex. Tip at the waist. You have your chair just for any balance purposes. If you fall forward, you have it there, but you want to stay back on that heel. All right, keep that body nice and tall. Hold it there. Another five seconds. Flex that ankle. Two, one, and bring it back. Now, take your towel, throw it over your shoulder, and then hold on to that towel. And some of you guys are really flexible with this one, but I want you guys to walk your palms or walk your hands towards each other really pulling on that towel as you guys do so. And really yank it once you're there. Feel that tricep extending all the way up. And working to stretch out the tricep muscle. When you're good with that, go ahead and throw it over your other shoulder. Hold on to it. Reach. Hopefully you can get to your towel. If you can't, that's okay. We'll work on it. You always have this version to use if you need it. All right, but crawl those palms to each other, combining the hands, and then maybe really pulling on that towel, opening up that top tricep muscle. Just relax. We're right around the corner. Slowly bring it down. Roll your shoulders back. I want you guys to support your head to your left shoulder. And 
and support your head to your right shoulder. Rotate your head clockwise one time and counterclockwise one time. Go ahead and look over your left shoulder and back over to your right shoulder. Close your eyes, take a nice deep breath, look all the way up. And exhale as you guys look down. Nice job, you guys. You guys made it. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Well done to every single one of you guys that joined in today. Um, thank you guys for being here and supporting us uh, during this, these like tough times. Uh, but I hope these classes, online classes that I'm giving you guys are challenging you uh, to get a nice sweat in, stay healthy, stay fit uh, while we have to stay at home. Um, so thank you again. And again, if you guys could please, please tag us, uh, P underscore Academy on Instagram. Or if you're on Facebook, go ahead and tag us too. We'll get that too and we'll repost it. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. I have a cool challenge coming up for you guys. Um, it's going to be tomorrow. So for tomorrow's class, what we're going to do is if you have any type of watch that counts your calories, I want you guys to wear that watch and we're going to have a little calorie uh, competition. Um, and the highest calorie burner through tomorrow's class will be receiving a $50 Amazon gift card um, from us. So um, I want you guys to be really honest with this and I want you guys to tell everybody about the challenge. Um, you know, the more the merrier. Um, wear your Apple watches or anything, any other kind of watch that you have that does count your calories during your workouts. Um, and I want you guys to post that number, send it to us for tomorrow's workout. Um, and we will be picking the winner of that competition, um, just to have something fun going here. So thank you. We look forward to seeing you guys at 5 PM, leave your comments below and we'll see you guys then. Bam.